okay? You just run away. <laughs> so today I'm in my Dior fit again. Um, this is what I bought yesterday. This Christian Dior with the back that says Bali. I showed you, I think. Okay, babe, where's your food review? Everyone loves your food review. <laughs> what are you eating? We're having chimichurri and uh, one short rib. Chimichurri short rib. And then, how does it taste? Actually, really good. I think they might have two pieces. Mmm! <laughs> I think I want some. Mmm! Good! Good morning everyone. Today is our last day at the Jumeirah Hotel, but it's not our last day in Bali. Um, we're actually just moving locations to Sanor. Uh, Sanor is one of my favorite places, areas in Bali. One of the reasons being it's a lot more local and all my best friends actually live in that area. Um, so we always stay either at the Hyatt or the Andas Hotel there. Um, and our friends just come and go to the hotel to meet me you know, hang out by the poolside, have coffee together, get drinks. So it's always really fun to be in the Sunnor area. Um, as you can see, I'm already all packed. Uh, right now, I'm just drinking my coffee, trying to get energy to do all my calls today, and waiting for Kevin to finish packing. Babe, how long did we stay at the Andas and the Hyatt when it was during the pandemic? Three months. <laughs> this is the courtyard area. It's really nice and peaceful actually. And during the weekends, they usually have events like barbecues, um, like hotel hosted events. Over there, it's a restaurant for breakfast. And generally, I just feel the vibe of the hotel is a lot more homier than other hotels you might find in Saminya or in Nusa Dua, which is why we stayed here for so long during the pandemic. We loved it here a lot. And basically we know all the staff, especially the ones in Andas and Hayat. The, ho the two hotels are actually connected and owned by the same people. So if you see that pathway over there on the left, um, that goes to the Hyatt area. Well, we're happy to be back on our way to our room. Um, we booked a lagoon suite, so it's actually right by the pool. I'm so familiar with this hotel that it literally feels like home. And I've definitely stayed in this room before. So, babe, we've definitely stayed in this room before, right? This is the same room. It's the exact same room. And it opens out to the lagoon. I really like this chair. I work and lounge here. It's kind of like a private pool area, even though you're sh 
can share the pool with your neighbors, but there's not too many neighbors. I think in total there's like three lagoon suites next to each other. So it's like a semi-private pool area for you. It's quite breezy outside as well, as you can see. Um, I often work here. Uh, if Kevin has a call, then he takes the inside and then I take the outside. I'll show you guys the room. Oh, <laughs> you look too relaxed, babe. <laughs> this is the bedroom area. And they have this really huge toilet. Another important thing is the two sinks. I love it when hotels have two sinks. So me and Kevin don't have to share. Got a welcome package and a letter. Dear Ibu Felicia and Bapa Kevin, welcome back home. <laughs> it is literally our home in Bali, yes. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Enjoy waking up to the natural sound and lush tropical sight of our beautiful village. And we also got Jammu. And I don't know what's inside this pink bag. So people are at the beach and I'm still on a working day today so um, I'm finishing up my emails, catching up on my Slack messages with um, a lot of noise actually. I hear someone taking swimming lessons I think, <laughs> like right next door. Um, but it's nice, you know, I get to have this view to work with and the weather is very breezy. So I'm just gonna catch some pork really quickly, guys, before I can go to the gym. <laughs> to be honest, most of my life is like this. Not as exciting as what it is on Instagram. <laughs> Heading to the gym. The walk, like I said, is about seven minutes. Seven minutes. So we count this as a pre-workout. Really? I count this as a pre-workout. We're not running. So we're walking. the Hyatt Spa and gym. It's quite nice and large. Malam! It's super... Hello, what's up? Hi! We're heading to the gym. But yeah, this my area is so nice, right?
Good morning everyone and welcome back to paradise. <laughs> Today is our last day at the Andas and we had a blast here as always. Um, you know, it's our home away from home, especially in Bali. If you ever do come to the um, Andas, the best thing about it is the food, especially at breakfast. Uh, they have breakfast at this restaurant called Wok Wok and I think they have the best selection of breads. My favorite is their soto and mi goreng, but they also have a Western cho Western choices. Uh, but I usually go for the soto and mi goreng, um, mi goreng, not mi goreng. <laughs> yes, but uh, we had a blast here. Um, service is always amazing. Um, so we're just moving from Andas to a hotel in Ubud. Uh, one of our friends has a birthday party there. It won't be part of the content because it's a super private party. Uh, but we also enjoy Ubud. We love Ubud. The weather is always cooler, which me and Kevin love. We love cooler weather. They have this really cute sign. It says your lucky tree. If a fruit falls on your head, one time you're lucky, two time you're blessed, three times you'll be loved. It's hilarious because actually it used to be a different sign that says watch out for the fruits that come from this tree. But what a beautiful tree, huh? This is Wok Wok. My favorite breakfast place and breakfast area. Look how beautiful it is. Kevin's already waiting for me. Hello. Um, aku mau ice cappuccino aja. Ice cappuccino ya. Enggak deh. Makasih ya mbak. Babe. Hmm. Would you like staying in Andes? Anything else you want to say? Uh, no. <laughs> food was good. Food was good. That's as what usual. I said. As usual. I love the food here. Because I'm on OMAD. 